morning, people! It's springtime, which means that everybody is going to breweries and their favorite outdoor bars or restaurants that they want to be outside at. Better way to spice up your day than creating a little brewery inspired. Okay, I can't even say that with a straight face. It's very uh, girl next door. And if I don't look like the girl next door, then that means I'm not your girl next door. So bye. I'm trying to call it something better than cute everyday makeup. Cute date night makeup. It's makeup for a freaking brewery where you're gonna drink beers and you're gonna meet attractive people and you're gonna have fun. That's what this is called. Subtle. So I'm using this Mashbox Primer Water as my primer. And once that has soaked into my skin a little bit, I'm gonna go in with Tarte's Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation. This is in light neutral. I did a review on this foundation already. I will link that down below. And we're just gonna buff it in with a beauty blender. Now we're using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in fair neutral. This is uh, my new favorite. A little bit goes a long way, so be sparing with it. You can always add more later. I would hate for you guys to put too much on and then be like, oh shit. <laughs> now we're looking like a piece of cake. What do you do after your foundation? You set your face with powder using the RCMA No Color Powder and mix with a little Ben Nye Banana Powder to brighten and sparkle your face up. I'm going in with my trusty Steed Lorac Contour Kit with Bedellium Tools number 962. It's just like a soft angled brush. My favorite brushes in the whole entire world. If you haven't tried them, you gotta try them. Y'all ain't gonna believe this, but I've replaced my MAC Pro Conceal with just a Tarte Concealer. Um, yeah, it's that good. And then we're going with the Morphe 35K palette and just that like kind of cool tone taupe shade and a flat shader brush. You're gonna place that all over your whole lid. So working our way up to the brow bone, I went in with Naked Buck. Uh, this, any warm tone or any transition shade you like to use, well, you know, it'll be fine. It'll all work out okay, but we're just going to start transitioning everything upwards, and then we're going to go outwards. I want to add a little bit of depth, so I'm going with a crease brush and a dark brown, and we're just going to put that on the outer corner, kind of blending it up into the crease. This just kind of helps pull your eye upward and add a little bit more drama into the mix. Finishing off our lid, we want to go in with a highlighter shade. I'm using the lighter shimmer in that palette. It's kind of like a cool tone silvery, but it's not on the silver. I don't know how to describe it, but it's really pretty. Guess what? Everything you do on top, you gotta do on the bottom. So you're gonna take your lid shade, put it all on your lower lash line, and then emphasize the outer corner with the dark brown. Take that white shade that's in there, it's got a little shimmer, and just pop that inner, inner, inner corner. Pop it. One day I'll learn how to speak. Don't forget to spray some moisture back into your face. I uh, use Smashbox Primer Water. Fix Plus will do a great job too. Then we're going to go with some highlight. I'm using Champagne, Champagne Pop by Becca. Um, and then putting that on the highlights of my cheekbones. And then we're going to go with some bronzer. and Just using the Wet n Wild bronzer. Then I like to re-emphasize my highlight with some color pop. It's got more of a pinky tone in it, so I kind of put that on the apples of my cheeks. Then I go with some blush, get a little pink in there, and call it a day! Now it's time to get funky, funky, funky. Using the Ardell, um, these are their Foam Mink lashes. I think it was 811. I'm using my favorite lash glue. It's called Callus, and it's waterproof, latex-free, dries in like 30 seconds. If you guys are having problems with fake lashes, try taking your tweezers, gluing it into the middle of your lid first, and then placing the outer and the inner corner down. That way you don't have any problems with it being too long on the outside or anything like that. It just makes for a smooth transition. See it, see it, believe it. Now it's time for some lips. We're using NYX Suede Lip Pencil in Whipped Caviar. Putting that all over our lips. I'm going with a nude shade from the Krylon Lip Palette. It's got kind of like a peachy pink tint to it. Um, I love this color. I wish they made it in a tube. And then we're going over with a gloss. 
It's not sticky, it's beautiful, it's sassy, it's kissable. Perfect for that brewery date that you're meeting up with. This is the end result of my little creation. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I hope you learned something and I hope you try it out and wear it and let me know what you think about it. Let me know how many compliments you get on it and you know, just don't forget to be nice to people while you're out wearing this look or just any time in general. I'm going to say it in every video because it's so important. Be nice to people and subscribe to my channel. The end. Bye!